Good morning, it's the end of May in 2018. My name is Mike Friday. Welcome to this channel. If this is your first time here, this is Camping by Friday. I'm leaving. It's 5 a.m. in the morning and I'm headed to Ohio. I live in Johnson City, Tennessee, and I've got about 350 miles there and back. What am I doing? I bought a camper. actually came through Cumberland Gap and the tunnels so cool it's on 25e and we started out in Tennessee and somewhere in the middle of the tunnel we were in Kentucky um, we have got about 106 miles behind us started at 5 a.m. it's now 650 just up to get a biscuit it's supposed to be a, just a crazy rough day weather wise there's a storm that's coming up from the south and I don't know. I thought about camping on the way back, staying overnight somewhere, so we're going to see how that goes. Hopefully, I'll be able to, to camp in this video too. First night, new trailer. Okay, so we are about 200 miles into the trip, and um, it is, what time is it? It's 8.40. So we've got about another 150 miles. Storm's coming. I don't know. Uh, Alberta is coming up from the Gulf Coast. So I've been going north all day today, and I think um, this afternoon, obviously, after lunch, after we pick up the, the trailer, we're going to be headed south. So that's going to determine whether we're going to be able to, to camp or not, but I guess we'll see.
right, we're back on the road. We got the No Boundaries 10.5. Looking forward to seeing how this thing tows. Let's travel on. I'm gonna stop and get something to eat. I think there's a Keens on the south side of Cincinnati that I really like. Camper. I had to park it. You can see it way over there across the street in a mattress place. But uh, we are here at Canes, Raising Canes. somewhere in Kentucky uh, we are uh, I think we are north of north of Lexington a little bit sets right off of 75 which is great if you're ever up to here but I need to get a um, what is it, a surge protector 30 amp you know, I got that done so now I'm not sure I've tried to look at the weather and I uh, even thought about camping at um, in Corbin or Cumberland Gap Corbin, Kentucky or Cumberland Gap, Tennessee. And uh, Cumberland Gap, Gap is closer home, but I don't know, I'm starting to get kind of tired, you know. A lot of driving, a lot of miles today, but the trailer's pulling well. We've got over 100 miles down through Cincinnati, some bad traffic, and there's actually some high winds that, um, that's been blowing. And uh, But it's trucking good, great, actually, behind the Forerunner. Uh, trail and so here so I'm just gonna hit the road I'm gonna see what the weather does and uh, we'll figure it out but I did get the surge protector 30 amp 30 amp to keep um, some campgrounds especially some older campgrounds they say and I'm sure this is true um, don't really control how much power it may let through to your camper or trailer and it'll just fry some of the stuff. Same is true with water, the pressure of the water. So you have to make sure that both of those are, are regulated somehow. And just like that, we are in Corbin. Corbin, Kentucky. And right now, the rain is holding off. It's got thunder showers on the way, but we'll go up here and take a look at this uh, KOA. Well, that's good news. They had um, several spots.
Well, hey, listen, thanks for coming along so far. I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna turn in because the storms are getting ready to come in. It's been a long day and uh, I'm gonna crawl inside, get ready for bed. I'll see you in the morning. We're gonna make some coffee and uh, hit the road to get on back home. I slept really good. Great first night in the Novo. Yeah. And it's so cool. Well, so cool inside with that air conditioner. Everything's fogging up. Got a friend here in campus. Man. See the sun coming up. whole bean coffee. It's delicious. So I'm going to hit the road, which means no shower here in just a few minutes. But I do have the Dude Quick Shower. We're going to give that a try. Fragrance free, naturally soothing, vitamin E, and aloe. One shower wipe. To say that it's refreshing. Let me show you how I made my coffee. Two burner grill came with the no bow, and you got gas on there here, and then straight into there. If you want to use that, I've got a butane stove that I've been using for a long time, and I just pulled it out this morning out of the back of the Forerunner trail, and then I've got a little GSI kettle that I'll warm the water up with. This is the job of Prince. Well, that's going to do it for the first episode of Camping by Friday. You know, if you enjoyed this video, there's going to be a lot more to come. I'm going to be doing uh, reviews on all my gear, showing a detail of the Nobo 10.5. Uh, lots of things to come. Uh, YouTube's new to me, but not new to me. I have um, another channel called Real Moto Vlog where I camp off of my motorcycle. Motorcycle camping, you gotta, everything's gotta be as small as possible, as compact as possible, you know, to be able to, um, to, to get that gear there. Here, it's not quite that. So all the, a lot of the gear that I have now, you notice my chair, uh, Kermit chair and everything, it's all made to just compress down really small. So, but anyway, thanks for joining us. This is I'm Mike Friday. And uh, like I said, you can check out that other channel, Real Moto Vlog, but this is a new channel. Same on Instagram, Camping by Friday. If you wanna follow me there, you can do that. So we're getting ready to hit the road. Again, thanks for watching and hit the subscribe button, hit the bell button, get notified whenever we upload new videos. But uh, thanks for coming along today and I don't really know what I'm doing, but I'm camping and I camped by Friday before Friday. Get it? See you guys later.